I'm Rebecca from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we'll be taking a detailed look at the Reigns backpack, which I've been testing out for three weeks. Check out our site for more information on this pack. The link is in the description below. So let's dive in. Okay, so let's take a look at this pack. Now, as you can see from the get-go, it's quite discreet. There's not a lot going on. Um, it's kind of quite smart looking as well. It's got this matte kind of texture to it. It's really smooth, actually. It's quite a nice texture. Um, however, the, the problem with that is that it does pick up some marks across it. I'm not sure how well you can see this on the camera, but you know, a few kind of scratches and things like that have come up and you can kind of rub them off, but some are a lot more permanent. So we'll make sure to show you that on our full review as well. Um, however, this material, it does offer some really nice weather resistance as well. So, and there are pros and cons to that material. It's 50% polyurethane and 50% polyester. And you can see, you know, where the materials change throughout this pack. On the back here, as well on that back panel, there's not much padding on this back panel, um, especially because this zipper, which I'll tell you about in a minute, but you may feel if you've got kind of more pointy items inside or sharper items, then you will feel that coming through, especially when the bag's fully packed. So it almost like pushes it through more. Um, and talking about the harness system, it's not the most exciting we've seen. You've got these two backpack straps here. Um, as you can see, they offer no padding and they almost have started like creasing. You can see here, just like the bends in them. And I found that if I'm wearing this without a thick kind of coat or jacket on, the edges are quite kind of blunt, quite sharp. So, and they almost like, dig, well, they almost, they do dig into my shoulders and it's not very comfortable when you're walking around. So if you're planning on taking this and wearing it for hours and hours on end, you know, with a lot of stuff inside, it's not gonna be the most comfortable one that you can find. Um, it's not very adjustable either. Of course you can adjust it. As you can see, we've got these buckles down here. They're a bit of a pain to thread through as well. So if you're in a rush and kind of want to um, change the length of them, it's not gonna happen very quickly, but you can do it. Just on another note though, because there's only four kind of holes so you can change four kind of spaces to change the size of that. I've had it on the shortest and I could do with it being a little shorter as well. So you haven't got much space to play with. Um, but, you know, I guess if you wanted to do a bit of DIY and punch some more holes in it, I guess that would be possible. We haven't done it ourselves, so your mileage may vary. I'm not sure how that would turn out, um, but it's just something to think about. Uh, you know, if, if you really love this bag and wanted to make it work better for you, that could be an option, but I mean, we're just using these four. It's worked up. You can also see the marks where it's been on the lower one as well. There's also a few loose threads around this pack, this one there, and over here as well on the zipper, which I will show you now. So this is a kind of, I think they call it a foam pocket on their site. And you've got this kind of water resistant zipper here. We're not really sure what these zippers are. It doesn't clear it up on the website, doesn't clear it up on the zipper either, um, but we don't think they're YKK, but we haven't had any issues with them yet. And you've got a little zipper garage in there too. Now, as I mentioned, there isn't much padding in there. Isn't, because it's kind of this, but just this material between uh, the, the, your back when you're wearing it and this pocket. So anything you do have in there, is going to kind of stick into your back. So I did put my hand gel, my anti-back gel in there and it dug into my back. So I found this a lot better for my phone. You know, if you had like a wallet or I guess even a passport, something like that would work. Um, so yeah, and then also just to note, there isn't a lot of quick access going on in this pack. As you can see, this is just the material. There are no water bottle pockets in here either. 
another loose thread there. So um, if you need kind of quick access, you've got that pocket on the back and I'll show you another one inside in a second. Um, and oh, just a note before I move on, I've been using this strap up the top here as my kind of quick grab handle. It's not, you know, got any padding. It's not that comfortable to carry with. So you're not going to want to carry it around like that. But it's good. It's come in handy just to grab. It's nice to have that there. Um, but if it's fully packed, then you may kind of struggle to get your hand underneath it. So um, just another note to be aware of. Now, the main compartment opens via this flap here, which you can undo this clip. You can see here like this and this uh, you can ex um, extend but as you can see um, where I extended it it's got a, a lump in it if I turn that to the side you can kind of see that and it's like the material's gone all bumpy and you've got this dent in it down the bottom here um, I'm not sure whether it's going to take some time to like wear that out and eventually it will be fine but I've had it I changed it probably over a week ago and it's still there so I don't hold out hold out much hope for that um, improving and you know it's not overly noticeable but I can see it and I just feel like the more you use it who knows if it, it, it may get even worse so be aware of that there but it did come in handy to be able to extend it when I had this bag fully packed and I kind of had to have a bit more room I could extend that up uh, just as another note, you have these magnetic closures here. Um, in addition to that clip on the front, and you can just flap that back. And then you have the main compartment. Now, inside this pack, I've really struggled with um, visibility just because everything inside here is black as well. So if you do have any kind of bright colored tech kits or pouches, things like that, it's going to come in really handy in this pack to help you out. Um, I'll just take out, there is quite a fair bit of room. I've got my jacket in there and my water bottle. As I said, there are no water bottle pockets um, on this pack. So because of the depth of this bag, I've been able to, um, you know, make sure I can put it in there and make sure it stands up with everything else I have in there. Um, I've had good experience with experiences with this bottle so it not I know it's not going to leak but if you're going to put a water bottle in here with your laptop as well then make sure it's one that you can trust and you know that if it does end up tipping over it's not going to leak anywhere this two lay pouch the handle on here comes in really handy in this type of bag so you can just pull that out and that's nice and easy it works really well with flatter items as well if you're going to put like if you've got loads of really chunky stuff um, that you're going to put in there it is going to bulk it out of locks like i said there's you know only so much depth to play with um okay so on the top here is another quick access pocket and i've really struggled with this zipper it seems to get stuck facing one way sometimes i have to kind of pull it to get round which is really irritating let's turn it again especially when you're um trying to access something quickly uh, which is what this pocket is handy for since we don't have much quick access on the outside of the pack so i've used this for the items that i want to get hold of quickly smaller items that i want to keep track of and it is handy being right at the top of this bag here so that i don't have to dig around inside i can literally just open it up and just reach in and access this compartment so that is handy and but i have missed being able to put you know any larger items outside of the pack that i can grab hold of as well and then at the back you can see here I have my um, laptop and in this laptop compartment or this laptop sleeve sorry and I have a 13 inch laptop and that is what it specifies on the website but we have actually been able to fit a 15 inch laptop in here it is a tight squeeze though so if you do want to put it with a case on it's going to be pretty tight um, but it does fit in there so just something else to know now this laptop sleeve offers very little protection um, so we do recommend putting like a cover on your laptop to make sure that it's a lot safer you've got this elasticated pocket at the front here and uh, it doesn't have a false bottom and there's very minimal packing on the back packing padding on the back sorry um, so just be aware of that and make sure you know um, your laptop is protected and then you have this kind of velcro strap that goes over the top just to secure that in and attaches down there 
So there you have it. That is the Reigns backpack. Check out packhacker.com for more information and the best buying options that help support the channel at no additional cost to you. Link down below. We'll see you in the next video.